Hello out there in YouTube land and anybody else who wants to watch my video. Uh, Happy New Year. I am kicking off the new year with a really interesting project. I'm pretty sure that you guys will uh, will like it. Uh, I'm up north in the uh, balmy cold weather of Ohio and uh, it's recently snowed but uh, not a whole lot. It's only 33 degrees but it is cold for me. So I have a house up here that I'm working on and remodeling and I, I'm at the point where I need to install the air conditioner. And the house was built in 1945 and uh, it doesn't have any kind of duct work in it. It only was heated by um, baseboard heat and a boiler system. So that system has uh, been replaced within the last 10 years and is still working really well. And I didn't want to take it out, uh, but I've been having problems getting some air conditioner professionals to come into the house and actually do the AC install for me. Um, and the ones that wanted to do it wanted to charge me a ginormous amount of money. So we're talking like $20,000, $25,000 to install a simple AC unit and some duct work. So I opted to uh, go ahead and tackle this project myself. And uh, instead of putting the ducted central system in there, I'm going with a mini split system. Um, and to reduce the bulkiness on the walls, because you know, the house is, you know, it's a nice house, it's in a nice neighborhood. I didn't want bulkiness on the walls with a wall mounted unit. So I opted for a ceiling cassette. And um, I'm going to be installing that. I've already installed two, or mounted two. I still have to do wiring and plumbing and, and that sort of thing. But uh, I've installed two ceiling cassettes already. It's been kind of a kind of a project, but overall, not too bad. It's taken me about a day and a half uh, to do the two because there's framing involved and uh, cutting of the ceiling uh, joists that need to happen. And um, yeah, so it's been really exciting. and. I'll take you in and I'll show you a little bit about what I'm doing and how I'm doing it and hopefully if anybody has the same exact problem that I've run into with an old house that has no ducting and can't get an AC guy in there to do the work for you, then um, hopefully this will help you how to do it. So follow me and I uh, hope you enjoy the ride. Okay so we're up in the attic right now. and. What's happening up here, and I think the major reason why nobody wanted to really tackle the job is the the uh, ceiling joists were built 16 inches on center. So uh, it poses a problem because the mini split units that I have are about 23 inches uh, square. And uh, you have to cut out one of the ceiling joists to be able to mount this up. So uh, I'm going to be mounting in between these two. I'm going to have to cut the center joist out right here. And uh, before I do that, I took that 2x4 over there and mounted it to the uh, roof rest rafter uh, down to the ceiling joist uh, before the cut to just kind of help uh, support that part of the, of the ceiling. And then I mounted another one uh, right here uh, from this part of the roof rafter down to the, uh, the ceiling joist uh, on the other side of the cut. So uh, because this house was so well built, it's probably not necessary to do this, but um, you just want to take the extra precautions anyways. Uh, so now that I've got this done, the next process is just measure out what I need to do, uh, take into consideration the thickness of the double header that I'll be putting in there, and, uh, and then do the cut. And um, I'll show you what that's going to be like here in a minute. Okay, so I just finished framing out the, uh, the ceiling joists here. Uh, as you can see, I put a double header on both sides over there and here, and uh, that'll support this center beam that I had to cut out and transfer the load over to the other two beams. So for a small opening like this, that should be more than sufficient. And uh, the next step is to get the template and cut out the, the hole for the uh, unit. So we'll see you uh, after that gets done. The air handlers come with this template and it's really nice to have this template um, I uh, didn't use it on the first hole and I wish I kind of knew that it was there but it was kind of hiding in the top of the box lid and I didn't realize that but uh, it has basically the dimensions of of your uh, air handler and then it has a center point and out to the arrows is where they want you to cut I wanted the opening of my hole to be smaller just to give a little bit tighter fit and finish 
didn't want a huge gap uh, around the perimeter of where the air handler is going. So I cut this template out and it's about 23 and a quarter inches square, which is uh, about an inch and three quarters smaller than the actual template they give you. Okay, so I've got my hole cut now. The next step is to uh, mount the, uh, the hangers and, uh, and then get the unit installed. So I'm going to work on that and then uh, get back with you. Okay, so now I've got the hole cut, the unit mounted, my hanger supports made, and all I did there was uh, put some 2x4s in between the uh, rafter on both sides. I used the template to position the, uh, the rods where they needed to go and then uh, screwed the rods into the uh, supports and then I mounted the unit from the bottom. And, uh, and that's it, that's all you gotta do. Um, now I still have to, to tighten down these nuts here, uh, which I'm going to do, but um, before I do that, obviously wiring, plumbing, um, and the, uh, the line set needs to be installed, um, which I have not done and I probably won't be doing this trip. But uh, at least this part of it is done, and um, I can call the most difficult part finished. So here we go, and I'll give you a, a view of, uh, of what it looks from the bottom side. Okay, here's what it looks like mounted in the ceiling from the bottom side. Uh, obviously, it doesn't have the cover on it, which I'm not going to install yet because I've still got to do the plumbing and whatnot. But it gives you an idea of what it should look like. All right, so that's a quick rundown of pretty much how you do this kind of job. If you like the content, have any comments, please go ahead and uh, do that below. And uh, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe too if you like. Thanks.